guys, this is Katie with the channel Weather Shaman. Welcome if you're new and a big hello to my returning subscribers. Uh, right now, I am down in a specialty booth called A&D Survival, located within the Eden Flea Market in Eden, North Carolina. And there is an awesome display here of some really cool tools. Now, uh, one of the first major natural laws is self-preservation. So if you've recently gone through a spiritual awakening, you'll know that self-preservation, self-sufficiency, and self-empowerment are huge aspects of this life. And there's some really cool tools down here, and I'm gonna have Adrian tell you a little bit about it. Adrian? Hi, everybody. I'm Adrian Weston. I'm here at A&D Survival. Diana and I own this, own this business, and we rent this booth. We're here on Friday afternoons from one to five, and Saturday and Sundays from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Um, I was telling Katie, if you start over here on the left, you'll see we got some pistol crossbows. Those can be used for hunting. You can kill small game, but probably up to coyote size with those. And then you have your hunting knives, the fixed blade knives, they call them. And then we have pocket knives and specialty kinds of knives. We have some switch blades and some throwing stars. Those were used for hunting. If you get proficient with the stars or with the throwing knives, you can hunt with those or make spears, all kinds of things to help you survive if the world should change as we know it. I have some hand forged axes and I have some samurai swords, all different kinds. Some of them are hand forged and some of them are just for decoration. And then I have the Halo Sword, if you're into video games, it's a plasma sword. And then we have Excalibur, which is a long sword, a medieval long sword. And then we have the Knights Templar Sword, and then we have a Roman Gladiator Sword, and all kinds of zombie swords. So if we have a zombie apocalypse, we'll be ready. <laughs> <laughs> and they're just really cool art artwork. I know a lot of people who put this stuff like on their walls at home and bring back the medieval time vibe. Into Absolutely, their... yes, and they do. You know, these are collector things, a lot of them, but they are also tools that can be used for self-preservation. Very neat. Um, and I saw that you had some camping equipment and, and stuff like that. Can you tell us about those lanterns? Sure, these lanterns are all solar charged. They're great. You, uh, their sun charges them up and you have a bright light for when you're camping. Or if your power goes out, you can run it by batteries. Or you can plug it in to the wall before your power goes out and charge them up and then... Whoa! You know, but also, say your power goes out and you need to charge your cell phone, there's a USB port for that. Oh, wow, there's a USB so you can charge your cell phone. Right. And this is solar powered or battery, so you can charge it in two ways. Exactly. exactly. Wow, that's super convenient. And this one is great for, like, if you have a child, if your power goes out and you have a child that's afraid of the dark and you want to put them to bed, it has a little, there we go, we have a little oh, wow. disco thing it's on the wall. It's a little disco light. Yep, and it'll last for hours, so your child will be nice and asleep. That's great for a child. It's like a night light for them to keep them calm in the midst of a storm or if the power goes out. That's awesome. You also have a flashlight for when you need to go to potty. That's powerful. It is, and important. <laughs> yeah, you got to go potty. You need that light. You also have a lantern. So... It's solar charged. Wow. No batteries for this. That's nice renewable energy. It is. So... Anyway, y'all come on down here to A&D Survival and come see Adrian, and I'll take care of you. Yeah, come on down to A&D Survival, this booth located once again within the Eden Flea Market in Eden, North Carolina. Is it Van Buren Road? Van Buren Road. Van Buren Road. Sending you an abundance of peace, love, and light from me to you. Namaste. <laughs>